Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at the messages that the divine has for you in this reading. As usual, it is always important to allow your intuition to be available as you're listening to these readings and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. So let's just jump straight into the reading to see what is here for you. The divine, your guides, your ancestors are coming in with a message to tell you that they are currently looking out for you. So if you're experiencing any fear, if you're going through things at the moment, it is important to make that connection with your guides, with your ancestors, and to ask for the help that you need. Start creating a solid bond with them. And as you do that, you're going to be seeing that things will just start getting a lot easier because your ancestors, your guides will start communicating with you through your intuition so your ancestors at this present moment in time they're just wanting to say to you that they understand that you're currently going through things and it is okay because everything is gonna work out just fine okay the next card that we have for you like i was saying everything is going to work out just fine because currently the stars are aligning in your favor okay so it is important for you to truly start understanding this and to understand that no challenges are going to last forever and rather to start getting excited about what is coming up for you rather to start welcome in these new beginnings that are here on the table for you i really like the energies that i'm feeling within my body because you guys are truly saying you are lucky there are new beginnings. There's something bigger that is waiting for you. There are new chapters that are wanting to unfold for you. So remember what I was saying to start welcoming in the new beginnings that are here because your guides and your ancestors are saying to you that the takeaway from this reading is going to be you understanding that you are lucky. The takeaway from this reading is going to be you understanding to welcome in new chapters that are going to be unfolding for you. So I really want you to start embodying this energy that is feeling beautiful to me, this energy of being lucky by commenting in the comment section below that I am lucky and claim these beautiful energies that are here. What we're going to do next, we are going to be getting our tarot cards to elaborate on the messages that are here. I always take this opportunity to tell you of the candle magic ceremonies that I do. I'm currently preparing for our Cancer New Moon manifestation that is going to be on the 17th of July. And this is going to be an energy where we're manifesting money, abundance, resources, where we are manifesting love where we are bringing in peace and harmony within our homes. So if you're wanting to be part of this ceremony, go in the description box below, reserve your space, write your petition about what it is that you're praying for, send your petition to me, and then me, my guides, my ancestors will be doing what it is that we need to do to bring the energies that you are currently praying for. The flowers are here that I've ordered for the ceremony. It is indeed going to be a beautiful ceremony. So let's have a look to see at our tarot cards that are here. Okay, so the tarot cards that are here, again, they're emphasizing this message, first of all, that is coming up, where your guides are saying that, hey, we are looking out for you, because like I said, there was this feeling that was coming up, where some of you are currently going through things. The divine is saying to you that it is important for you to start reminding yourself that you are powerful, because some of you are starting to play too small, and you're allowing your problems to get bigger and bigger and bigger through your mind. So the divine is saying, claim back your power. Look at this situation. Understand that your guides are looking out for you. Understand that you are not alone. But above all, understand that the tides are starting to change. Okay, because the stars are aligning in your favor. The stars are aligning towards a new beginning where you are going to be experiencing that lucky break that you are currently praying for. So I really love the energies that are here because even though you might be feeling tired, you might be feeling bound to your situation, your guides and your ancestors are saying that, hey, you're not alone, okay? And it is important for you to understand that some of the services that I do are connected to cutting the cords that are keeping you tied to situations doing the spiritual cleanse so that you can remove those dense and heavy energies that could be around you. I do banishing ceremonies. I do return to sender ceremonies. So if you feel that someone is sending negative intentions towards you, you can send that negative energy right back to them and you can protect 
protect yourself. So again, all the services are linked in the description box below. Go to my website and have a look around, especially doing a spiritual cleanse. This is something that I do like on a daily basis for my clients. So if you feel that you just need a spiritual cleanse so that you can have that new beginning so that you can wipe the slate clean. This is one of the services that are there. So go and have a look on my website and you'll be able to see the spiritual cleanses. Right, remember what I told you about that this is not going to last forever. The pages are about to turn and the stars are aligning for you. Look at you now, okay? You claimed your power back from this situation that is here. You accepted that the stars are aligning in your favor, okay? And you stepped into the energies of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is you bravely going forward in a new direction, in a new chapter, feeling fired up, feeling passionate, feeling excited about what is unfolding for you because you're looking to the future and you're seeing that, yes, indeed, you are lucky. I want you to observe something and I hope that it's going to show up quite well on the camera. Okay, so I'm going to pop this card down. As we're talking about you being lucky, can you see all these lucky moments? Can you see all this good sprinkling, sprinkle, sprinkle, that is being sprinkled on you, that lucky energy, that lucky vibe that is being sent towards you? Can you see it here? And now observe on our Oracle card the same type of energy that is coming towards you. So this is a confirmation that indeed... The stars are aligning in your favor, okay? And you're going to be sprinkled with that magical dust. You're going to be feeling joyous. You're going to be feeling powerful. You're going to be feeling excited as things are shifting, as things are changing, as things are going in the right direction, okay? So it is important for you to truly understand this. And like I told you already, to start welcoming this energy, to start understanding that you are lucky, let that be your motto. I am lucky. I am lucky. I am lucky. And you're going to be seeing that as the stars are aligning for you, those lucky breaks are going to become a daily occurrence. You're going to be experiencing this every day that is just going to become your new norm. Okay. You're just going to feel that it is normal for you to find money on the floor. It is normal for you to have people complimenting you. It is normal for you to go for a job and to get it, to ask for a pay rise and to get it, to ask someone out and them saying yes. It is going to be normal for you because you've now entered your lucky era. So the divine is saying that for you, it is again really important to start embodying this lucky energy, to start inviting this good vibe that is here towards you. Because remember, we started off our reading where your guides are saying to you that we are looking out for you. We know what is going on. We're seeing the situation. We have a higher perspective on this situation that is here. But as the waves of change are starting to come into your life, it is important for you to start looking at the energies of the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is an indication where you feel like you've been to war. Okay, the Nine of Wands, it feels like life has taken you, life has really put you through it, and you're sick and tired of it. And now you're ready for a new beginning, for a new chapter. So the Nine of Wands is here telling you that there is an end to all the challenges that you're experiencing, to this situation that is here, where you're dealing with difficult co-workers, where you're dealing with narcissistic people in relationships, maybe this is your boss, where you're just dealing with challenging situation one after the other, after the other, after the other for years and years and years. And now you're catching your lucky break because now you're taking that wand and you're starting to make your wishes known to the divine because you're starting to understand that the stars are aligning for you. This is divine timing that is on the table for you. You're starting to understand that you are lucky, but above all, you're starting to understand that you are holding the magic wand. And as you're holding the magic wand, you're starting to embody this lucky energy that is here because you understand that your subconscious mind creates your experiences. So even though you've been through a lot of challenges, you're not letting the past hold you back. You're not letting the past create a barrier for you so that you're not able to jump forward, so that you're not able to move forward with a new type of vibe and energy around you. So, beloved, this is the energy that the divine wanted you to receive. So, if, found, if you found value in this reading, 
give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And remember of all the services that I offer, if you feel that I can be of assistance to you, again, my website is in the description box below. Go have a look around and see what is there that is calling out to you. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to see you very soon. It is a goodbye from me.